so, 20 years ago when I suddenly became single in my mid 30s, uh, the, the wisdom at the time was that you had a better chance of being bombed by a terrorist than getting married at my age. And I think since 9-11, marriage, the, the odds have gone a little better for marriage. So I make the list, you know the list of the uh, traits you want in a guy that you want to attract to yourself. <clears throat> and I got on my knees and asked the powers to be to help me because terrorism was involved. <laughs> and girls, be careful what you ask for. I wanted my guy to be a dreamer. So I met this guy who said he wanted to buy his mother's antique estate home as his summer home. So I thought that was quite attractive. Then I find out he lives with his mother and he hasn't worked in three years. So that's too much of a <laughs> So eventually after six or seven months of dating again, I decided to, the two most important things to me were that he be alive and that he show up. <laughs> so today dating is a pretty different situation. Um, you know, you have to, it's almost like looking for a job. You gotta get the profile, and you gotta, you know, have the pictures and all your interests, and you gotta, you know, and you gotta see who these guys are that are filling your position. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I'm looking at a friend of mine, she's looking at this guy, and he's a teacher, and he also is a musician. So I'm like, oh, a teacher. So he's smart, educated, sensible. But he's a musician. Probably good with his fingers. 